Hey there, and welcome to my very first um, vegan pregnancy video. So um, I am just entering my second trimester, so I'm about 13 weeks pregnant, and I thought I'd share my experience. This is actually my second pregnancy, and I'm calling this my healthy pregnancy because as I've learned so much this past year, in terms of health, nutrition, and just wellness overall, and how wrong I was, um, I am realizing with my first pregnancy, my daughter, um, which she is 18 months right now, so um, with her, I ate very poorly. I gained 60 pounds during that pregnancy, and that is just beyond, you know, the average weight gain is supposed to be between 20 and 30 pounds. So. I was gaining, I guess on average, about 20 pounds a trimester. That's insane. But thanks to my discovery of whole food plant-based lifestyle, that melted away, um, you know, when I was five months postpartum. But um, I wanted to share my experience kind of as a first-time vegan mom um, or pregnancy, but also as a comparison of what it was like being a carnivore, you know, non-vegan pregnant mom versus now being plant-based. So um, first trimester has been fairly similar, uh, to be honest, in terms of I'm one of those lucky moms that doesn't get uh, morning sickness. So that stayed the same. So it didn't matter what I was eating whether there was animal products involved or not, I didn't really get sick with any of the foods. Um, and the only really time I would get nauseous is when I was really hungry. So first trimester, I experienced a lot of hunger, a lot of, um, and just fatigue, tiredness. So with the contrast of the first pregnancy, I was really prepared and we had been trying and it actually took us a few months uh, to get pregnant. So we thought it was going to be really easy right away. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I'm pregnant right away. But for us, it took about four, maybe five months of trying to get pregnant with my first pregnancy. Now, the second pregnancy is kind of the opposite where we had kind of toyed with the idea but didn't really commit to it and wanted to wait a little bit longer and boom here i was pregnant all of a sudden and didn't even know it and according to my calculations there was only a two percent chance that we could have gotten pregnant and it's funny because during the first pregnancy we had tried so hard and it took a lot of work and a lot of math and effort and this one we weren't even trying and, uh, you know, there was only a 2% chance it could happen. And then there you go. So maybe, um, having both of us being on a plant-based lifestyle that helped kind of make us more <laughs> fertile in a way. I don't know. So, um, basically it was, yeah, we got pregnant quicker and more unexpectedly in this pregnancy and, um, this pregnancy, I'm trying to be all plant-based. Now, normally my lifestyle, when I'm not pregnant, I like to be whole food plant-based. Now that's meaning it's beyond vegan. It means no oils or very minimal oils, all whole foods, non-processed foods. So, um, but now that I'm pregnant and I'm hungry all the time and I'm, my effort has been just very low in terms of trying to prep and prepare meals because I'm just so I'm very burnt out and exhausted like to be honest uh getting pregnant I wasn't prepared I ended up getting sick which never happens and it's because I didn't do my prenatals ahead of time and I wasn't doing my uh, other supplements that help my immune system and on top of that becoming pregnant and not knowing it, it dropped my immune system because my body's hard at work. So I ended up getting sick the first two weeks um, and then realizing I was pregnant. So, and sick meaning like I just had a sore throat and um, was really tired. So um, that was different in that my first pregnancy, I never got sick. And that's because I was really strict with my uh, supplement regimen and 
made sure, you know, I had all my vitamin C's and, and um, was taking care of my body um, with that. So now I'm, I'm caught up where now that I know I'm pregnant, I'm back on schedule with my, my vitamins, which is a mix of different things. Um, and now I'm better. Like we're in the middle of winter, which is like the sick season. Everyone around me is sick and I'm not affected by it, which is great. So, um, that's really it. In terms of food, what I'm eating, I am cheating more in vegan ways. So like I tried to be no oil and whole food plant-based, but when it comes to me being a super hungry, super tired, lazy, <laughs> um, you know, first trimester fatigue mom, um, I'm cheating where I'm doing more oils and I'm actually craving kind of some olive oil dressing in my salads. Um, and I'm doing more of the fatty type of vegan stuff. So um, I'm indulging, but I'm allowing myself to indulge and compared to the way I indulged in my last pregnancy, I think I'm way better. Like this isn't even cheating. Like this would have been eating healthy compared to what I did last time. When I was um, pregnant with my, my daughter, she, I was eating Hawaiian barbecue. I was eating like ice cream and cookies, like just a lot of meat, a lot of dairy, and uh, a lot of it. And so this pregnancy, my first trimester, I gained seven pounds. So that is way better than the 20 pounds, you know, 20 plus pounds that I was gaining last time around. So my goal is just to keep at this and I'm going to be flexible with myself, not too strict in terms of the low fat, whole, uh, whole food plant-based lifestyle. But um, overall, I'm in a way better, better position. I'm feeling good, um, but I'm also just feeling kind of like more... I guess emotional and um, I guess it's kind of a combination of you know having a lot on my plate with now being a, a mom and then being pregnant like last time first pregnancy was so easy and so nice like it was just me I could rest whenever I wanted to. I just had my own schedule and could do what I wanted when I wanted um, and had a lot of support. And now this time around, I have a 18 month old child that I have to keep up with. And that is a whole different type of pregnancy. So, you know, I don't get a sleep in and I didn't you know, I don't get to be on my own schedule and just keeping up with her is exhausting. Like that's all I can do in the day. And it's kind of, it's a bit frustrating in that, um, you know, like I feel like I get nothing done. Like all I do is, you know, chase a, a child around and eat and then sleep when she does. So I'm kind of trying to get my rhythm and get my motivation to be a little better at multitasking. So that's something I'm working on the second trimester. So, um, so yeah, um, I guess that is the quick um, summary of what's going on. And I'm gonna try and document um, bits and pieces here. I don't really have a plan. If you have any suggestions, if you're a mom or uh, plan to be a mom going through a vegan type of pregnancy, um, hit me up. I'm just kind of experimenting here and sharing my journey. And um, as far as food goes, you know, I've been having kind of cravings, like I've been doing whole wheat uh, vegan waffles in the mornings with berries. Um, I'm doing a lot of pastas, like carbs, like I really want bread, like whole grain breads and carbs. So um, there's been a lot of that. So I'm trying to make sure I get more greens because those are always the forgotten. Um, so salads and all that. So <sighs> that's really it. Um, I guess I'll check back in soon with another Prego video, but hopefully in between I can get you maybe another recipe or two, um, or a collab. We'll see. So that's it. Plant-based mom checking out 
and have a happy, healthy week. One more thing I'm gonna do during these pregnancy videos is kind of show off the belly so you can see the progress. And last time I put on this skirt underneath, but uh, well, hi, hi, mom. What you doing? I'm doing a prego vlog showing off my belly. So here's the front. And uh, so I'm not sticking out crazy like last time. And here's the side. So there you have it.